Falco. Ooh, Trish Falco is coming out. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, and the Falco stage. Home, home field. <laughs> home field advantage, yeah. All right, let's get this. Match is underway. Sorry with fireballs. So. Oh. Okay, this Falco is the character who uh, benefited in the most recent patch. So I've been told. And so I've read. So. Yeah, uh, um, I believe that he has a faster deer. Wow, that custom. That's yeah. actually going to play a really big part in this matchup. It's just that the stage is tilting. Yeah. I wonder if that goes to the stage, like, no problem. It's It destroys projectiles, if I remember correctly. It doesn't reflect them. It just straight up breaks them. But it's also got, like, insane amount of range and, like, power and stuff to it. So it's sort of like... Like, it's sort of like the custom version that's like the heavy hitting attack. Hmm. Uh, do you know uh, wh which way does it hit you? Does it hit you up? Yeah, I think it probably depends kind of where you're hit. Hmm. That's interesting because I saw him use it at the top, and now I'm thinking that he's trying to kill him at the top with his. Uh, nah, I think he was just trying to go for a safe. It's a really, as you can see, it's just got a huge amount of distance to it. So I think he was just trying to find a safe way to hit him off the stage. Yeah, that's interesting. Back oh. Oh, good job. So James going for the uh, drop down back air, hit him under the stage, didn't get it though. All right, good air dodging here. That fireball, oh, gonna play a big part of this recovery, but makes it back to stage. Yeah. Something stage is really like playing a good part for Luigi. Oh, is this There's it? There's it. That's it, man. That's it. James, <laughs> super good at those. That combo. Not used to, not used to such a good Luigi that we have to like not get grabbed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, but that F smash just wow. clears that stock, and yeah, it looks like, like it's an even Falco's game. Falco's got one of the best forward smashes in the game. Really? Yeah, I would say so. The only one, well, yeah, yeah. He's got one of the best sports matches in the game. It's pretty good. It's definitely his best smash. What do you think? Why do you think it's so good though? Uh, it's got a lot of like forward movement to it. It's one of those like pull back, move forward smashes, and it's just a really heavy hitting kill one. Like it rivals heavy characters. I see. It's kind of like Roy, where it's like most of his moves are kind of average, and that nah, smash is just like bam. Yeah, <laughs> dead at fifty, right? Oh, but. Sure needs to be more uh, careful with this recovery, especially with the tilting stage, because those fireballs will just, will just stop him wherever it goes. But that down beat just putting... Oh, that back, back air. air! But nice DI by Churro. Okay, this is Still gonna be tricky. Jump. And... Oh. Okay, James, once again, trying to trying to gimp the uh, up beat. Uh, oh, but going for that... Wow! Oh. But Churro gets it! Wow. Churro's looking so good this, this <laughs> tournament. That Falco! Churro with Falco? Oh my goodness. It's like they're talking, talking counterfeits here. He's gonna go Coffin again? So this is just yeah. semifinals. This is still a best of three. So Jared just needs one more. James needs to take two games. Mm -hmm. and, right. the, and the person who loses is out of bracket. <sighs> And actually, if this is loser semifinals, that means the next game is loser's finals, which means this is the cutoff for money. Oh, that's true. Oh, okay, smash. Okay, better. <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of stake here. A lot of stake yeah. for, for James and Jiro. Wow. Well, this Falco putting good work. Yep. Wow, I was trying to go for that beat early. A lot of Falco wow. sort of like in the neutral combos were things that benefited from the patch. Specifically, his Nair got like really good, apparently, at wow. racking up damage and comboing. I see. This cool. is, uh, nice up smash. Oh, yeah. so much disjoint on that move. Yeah, it's, it, it and plays it's, a big part. Like, yeah, right, and it's see. safe on shield from the right when space properly. Actually, this this makes it like his neutral game so much better than just regular lasers and trying to camp it out. Yeah. What? Okay. All right, but uh, James okay. did pick up that first stock with a force match. All right, it looks like I'm, like I'm off. So out. Oh, thanks for coming today, man. For sure. Alright, uh, so, uh, Churro going a little deep, gets the stage spike, not really a spike, but it was a stage kill, back air off the stage, taking him off the side blast zone, but Churro at a disadvantage here, James got a big percent lead, Oh, that must be a custom up B because that looks kind of weird on hit. James keeps trying to challenge Churro's uh, a B. Hasn't gotten anything out of it yet. Oh my goodness. That actually clanked with the forward smash. I'm super surprised because that was a really charged forward smash. And that was perfectly spaced recovery by Churro. Churro. Once again, James tries to challenge it. 
He still hasn't quite figured out how to gimp it yet. But that's... Oh, Churro falls out. Good DI on Churro's part. Jameson did not mash that so hard. That's part of the thing about the down B follow up to the down throw is uh, you have to mash at the right speed because if you mash it too fast, you actually go up too high and you uh, the enemies can fall out. Mash it too slow, they can fall off the top, fall at the top. So you gotta mash it just right at my right amount so that their DI can't get him out of it. So oh, Chur was holding on as hard as he could, but James did finally pick that up with another forward smash. Both those skills are forward smash this time. This game. And this game's now going, the set's now going into uh, game three. This game is, this does decide to cut off for money, as I said earlier. A lot of stake here. Tournament game for both these players. Well, for one of them. Sounds like uh, James is banned FD and Halberd, final destination on Halberd. Churro has to select for the remaining stages for his counter pick. And there's a little bit of deliberating going on. Sure, oh, going for the character switch. We're getting villager. This is okay chance. Since Churro already won a lilac, that he's actually going to be taking James to. Uh, Congo Jungle, that's my prediction. And joining me back on the mic here, we've got Rub Rub. Hey, it's Rub Rub. Hey, man. So, what is this, band or losers? This is semifinals for losers. This is the cutoff for money. This is the, this is the winner of this goes to third place. It gets third place at a minimum in losers' finals. Oh, this is still going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because uh, the, the custom battle thing is only uh, one game. Yeah. That's, uh, what happened so far? So far, uh, uh, Churro's been going Falco, and he went up one game, and then he went down one game. And now this is Churro's counter pick, and he picked Villager. And it looks like he gentlemaned in this, because uh, this is the stage he won on game one, so by Dave's stupid rule, he shouldn't have been able to go here. Yeah. Oh, that was sneaky. He tried to throw the tree. That's why I was guessing Congo Jungle, is because uh, Churro likes Villager for Congo Jungle and Highlight. So I was expecting, since he went village with Lila, the Congo jungle was going to be it. I, I thought Lila was off the table. Well, I, James doesn't really know much about rules and stuff, from what I've known. So I don't know uh, if he was a gentleman or he just didn't know. Yeah, um, you know, and Churro's not the kind of guy who would, like, try to, like, yeah. skip out on it. So he might have just forgotten himself as well. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, so he won this in game one. I saw that. So why did he, why did he switch from Falco? Falco just get wrecked or something? Uh, you know, his Falco was wrecking game one, and then game two he was, he just, like, was behind the whole game, so... I think he just thought, like, he had the ability to switch it up and, like, try to go... Ooh, the axe mix up! Wow! Killager coming down! Killager with the axe murder! <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Alright, that's so, the real power of the tree right there. Yeah. That axe. Yeah. Unless it's doubles, then the tree really doesn't matter. Yeah, or if you're edge guarding sometimes. Yeah. Alright, so. Or if you got the custom trees and tripping. I'm up against somebody else now. I don't really like this. See? <laughs> yeah, right. we've got a. Uh, uh, so Ruben's stepping off, I guess. I'll just just let everyone know what's going on right now is we've got a, uh, a side event running off stream right now. It's the DLC only bracket where only DLC characters and stages are allowed. Um, and uh, it's trying to progress really fast because we don't have a whole lot of time tonight. So stay on Ruben, keep stepping off for that bracket. <laughs> um, and I'm waiting because my first opponent is going to be Churro. But anyways, uh, looks like while I was talking about all that, James did get his stock off Churro. And the percents have gotten moderately evener again. Churro's going to need something like that axe mix up. Yeah. 
nice slingshot by Churro's part. The closer range the slingshot is when you hit with it, the more knockback and damage it does, and that was the very close range for uh, for there. A back air might even have killed Luigi at that at that uh, point. Oh, 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 oh! Luigi might have it there. Nice DI by Churro. Wow! I thought that was it. Yep, smashed the up air with three turnips. Churro takes it. 2 1. That was an incredibly close set.